giant over the top snack attack cookies. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. Twelve. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a large mixing bowl and one cup of butter that's at room temperature. Adding to that one half cup of packed brown sugar and one half cup of regular white granulated sugar. And you're going to cream the sugars and butter together until it's a light and fluffy. Then add in one half tablespoon of vanilla extract and two large eggs. Now I don't show this often, but you do really need to scrape down the sides of your bowl as you go. Make sure you don't lose any of the yumminess. Now blend up your dry ingredients. That's two and one quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and one package of white chocolate pudding mix, the four serving size. And then just give that a stir together. And then what you're going to do is on low speed, you're going to gradually add in the dry ingredients into the bowl until they are well combined. And now we'll add in some fun stuff. Add in three quarters of a cup of chocolate chunks. If you can't find those where you live, just use chocolate chips. And now my mixture was unhappy here, so I stopped it and I continued to stir by hand. Adding in one quarter cup of peanut M&Ms, one quarter cup of mini M&Ms, and about a quarter cup or so of chopped up Oreo cookies. And then just give that a stir together until it's combined. And then finally, gently stir in one cup of crushed up potato chips. I'm using the rippled kind. I transferred it to another bowl because I needed my mixing bowl for something else. And then you put this in the refrigerator and let it chill for at least an hour. Then you're going to divide that dough into 12 pieces. Take one piece and you're going to form it into like a little hockey puck shape that's about two inches in diameter and about an inch in thickness. You don't have to use a ruler, but just so you get the general idea. You can put six of these on a cookie sheet, no more because they spread to almost double their size. And then we're going to decorate these with a whole bunch of what we put inside them just to make them look awesome. So what I did was uh, you're going to throw on a few chocolate chunks on top and then add some mini Oreo cookies or you could just use large Oreo cookies cut into pieces. And then I put some more peanut M&Ms. The recipe calls for mega M&Ms with like your giant M&Ms, but I couldn't find any. Some miniature M&Ms. And then stick in a few pieces of potato chip. Now these spread so much, you really do want to crowd those toppings. So just cover that cookie with as much topping as you can fit on it. In fact, put more than you think should go on it. Because when this spreads out, it's going to, all these little pieces are all going to come apart. Kind of like the universe expanding. Then you're going to bake these at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or so until the edges are light brown. Mine took closer to 20 because I was using an insulated cookie sheet with a silicone mat. Let them cool on the cookie sheet for a few minutes, then transfer to a wire rack to cool completely. And there is the completed cookie. And as you can see, all those toppings all spread out. So there's actually space in between them. That's why I'm telling you to put lots on there. And these cookies are enormous. They're gigantic. There's probably four cookies for each cookie here. So if you don't want to make them this big, you don't have to. You can make smaller pieces. But they're kind of awesome being that big. And you can just imagine putting these in a bake sale or even just giving one to someone as a gift because they're just really, really good. Once cool, store these cookies in a airtight container at room temperature. Now I actually did a half recipe. The original recipe is double everything and it makes like a gigantic pile of very large cookies. So you can do that if you want. Recipe will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. I've added these cookies to my cookie playlist and there's close to 120 different kinds of recipes on that playlist. So if you're looking for a cookie recipe, check it out. Lots of great ideas there. Thanks for watching.